Have you noticed yellow scabs on dog skin? The likelihood of your dog having contracted mange is quite high if you have seen yellow scabs on dog skin. Mange or sarcoptic mange is a form of pesticide infection. Where dogs infested with mange mites begin to cause a severe skin condition that is commonly known to be allergic dermatitis dog. Should dog owners worry about allergic dermatitis in dogs? If you know what yellow scabs on dog skin looks like in pictures, you will know why you would never sleep well if your dog was found with allergic dermatitis for dogs. Regardless of yellow scabs on dog skin being so vicious to many dog breeds, generally owning a dog is something that you may have considered with pet care expenses on your mind. And if you already have a dog at home, then making sure that your dog has all it may need to survive. Even if it is just superficial pyoderma and not yellow scabs. This article will help you and your dog get rid of yellow scabs on dog skin. Simply by these few steps outlined in the following best dog skin practice guide for getting rid of mange and scabs on dogs. Which dog skin conditions scabs commonly occur in dogs? When it comes to dog skin conditions or scabs, you will find a lot online. And many pieces of information are the kind that can make you wonder if there is any hope for having a dog and enjoying dog ownership as a wonderful experience for years to come. Truth is it costs a lot to own a dog. Dot. Especially when you start seeing dog skin conditions and scabs developing on your dog. Expect to spend from $700 to as high as $1,000 in a year to pay for medical other, attention and food items needed. Now some school of thought will tell you that if your dog was to ever get mange mites, it is expected of the dog to get attacked by mange. Frankly speaking, no dog or dog breed is susceptible to dog scabs or mange. So you may want to think about pet insurance, also, emergency care is a lot. Just as you need an annual physical exam, dogs do as well. It can be difficult to know what could be causing your dog pain since they can't talk to you. Checkups can reveal that and more. When training a dog, practice in the yard or your home. Avoid training your dog where many people are present. Being around others can cause distractions, meaning it is more difficult for your dog to master basic commands. Purchase a dog that can keep up with your lifestyle. If you are a hunter for example, perhaps a retriever is the dog for you. A more sedate, indoor dog will fit your lifestyle best if you spend more time in the home. By selecting the right dog breed, both you and your dog will be more content. If your dog spends time outside, he should have a good house. If you are handy, you can purchase one or build one yourself. If he is left out in rough weather, so make sure you have a warm, dry dog house where he can rest, a dog can get ill. Dot. Always protect him from wind, rain, and sun by making sure he has a dry shelter to go to. Have you soaked up all the information in this article? Read the tips again if you didn't. Knowing how to care for your dog takes a load off of your mind. Use what you have and learned a great relationship with your pup. A dog scratching at an empty dish may want you to feed it. He might scratch your door when needing to go to the bathroom. A plaintive look from your dog might mean a little petting and hugging is in order. You can't always so easily tell what is needed, so keep reading for tips on how to learn the ropes. Hugs are great, but steer clear of kisses. Your dog's mouth is really dirty, though dog kisses are adorable. He probably doesn't mind eating dirt, enjoys drinking water from the toilet if he can get at it and tries in vain to clean himself with his tongue. It's saying that the dog's mouth is much cleaner than a human is a folklore. It simply is not true. Just as you need to keep up with your annual doctor's appointment. Your dog needs to see his vet annually too. Your dog can't speak to tell you he's in pain. Annual checkups can catch issues before they develop into something serious. Always have your dog spayed or neutered. It is a known fact that doing this will lessen the probability of your dog getting cancer. Besides, a neutered dog will be less likely to run away or to get into fights with other animals. Dot. When bringing dogs on vacation, it pays to take a photo of them to keep on your phone. You should have a picture so you can find him if he just so happens to run away from you. If you are on any kind of medication, you should ensure your dog never gains access to it. Many medicines that benefit you can be harmful or fatal to your dog. When your dog happens to get at your meds, call the vet ASAP. Dogs are emotional creatures. Indeed, you should now possess a solid understanding of how dogs think